Well, city officials in La Crosse are directing funding towards multiple needs in the Parks Department. First News at 9's Dashiell Mensel shares the results of a recent city council vote and what that money will bring. Last Thursday, the city of La Crosse passed a funding request brought forward by the city's Parks Department. The $270,000 request was split into two items, the first of which was $75,000 to fund cleanup on the Vietnam Veterans Trail in La Crosse. It still covers the $52,000 uh, bill that we had uh, for the cleanup, but it also allows us to address some other encampments, some smaller encampments that we come across, have come across recently or anything else that comes up related to uh, a cleanup throughout the rest of this year. The council passed that vote unanimously. Councilwoman Erin Goggins says that funding for the cleanup is a necessity. The mess and the complete uh, destruction of parts of the marsh and that area w was terrible. And it needed to be cleaned up. It had to be cleaned up. Biohazards and just, just garbage. The second item will introduce security in local parks and parking ramps. $195,000 in funding would pay a security company to have guards on watch for 12 hours every day. What their job here in this situation is, is to kind of promote a, a safe environment for the park goers, um, for anyone coming to and from the park, and, and to kind of discourage negative behavior and watch for um, maybe some of these any violations of city orders, something, something like that. The council passed that vote 9-3. to three. Councilwoman Goggin says all who use the parks should feel safe. What's important about the security in the parks is that every resident, unsheltered or taxpayer, feels comfortable going to the park. They are safe in the park. This is not to get homeless people not to go to the parks, but we want everybody to be safe at the park while they're enjoying our parks. The money will be coming out of the city's $300,000 contingency fund. In La Crosse, Dasha Menzo, First News at 9. Thanks, Dashiell. And the Parks Department says they've collected 46 tons of garbage in the trail cleanup.